Hello again, my friends, and welcome to episode 20 of my Terraria playthrough. I cannot believe 20 episodes into this thing. Um, and as you can tell by the title, today is going to be a huge milestone. We are going to be fighting Skeletron. So if that sounds like something that you might be into, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. And yeah, so we are going to take this in steps. Right, so we made our uh, neighborhoods of all of our different villagers. These guys are just down here for now. Um, I wish that we had a way of getting um, a pylon for the ocean biome, but we don't have access to that quite yet. Um, but we'll have access to the snow biome as soon as we get over here. Um, as soon as we get over to the... Um, the dungeon and get the mechanic. Sorry, I have a little scatterbrained. So let's quick stack to the nearby chests. We have so much stuff that we kind of need to set up over here. I should have done this all off camera. Um, but this gives time to kind of talk about what we're going to be doing. Um, so we're going to, like I said, fight Skeletron today. Um, with that means that we need to um, fight or we need to make an arena to fight Skeletron in in the first place. And then we also need to uh, beat him. And then as soon as we do, we can head down into the wonderful, wonderful dungeon and see if we can get some good equipment um, to go for us. So we got so much wood wall from our, <laughs> from our um, building being destroyed when we blew it up last episode. So that's been nice. It's nice to have plenty of that. So I'll need this because we'll need our... We'll definitely need to... Uh, he's destroying my door up there. I'm going to go get him to stop by moving him away for a second. Um, but our goal here is to make a really nice... I will clean all this up as well later. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, but we want to make... We want to gear up, of course. We have plenty of bone arrows, flaming arrows, and wooden arrows. We might want to get more wooden arrows because that's what works for our bee, um, our bee farm, or not farm, but our our bee bow, our bee's knees, as they call it. Um, and so, yeah, we need to grab our campfires. Um, we need to grab campfires, and we need to grab everything we need to try to be successful in this fight so what i will do is i won't bore you guys with the trip over to the dungeon um i will go ahead and skip over to that so the next time you see me uh, we will be walking up to the dungeon and we are coming up on the dungeon now um we are going to be making our arena um Built it off of here, and we're going to try to make it as long as we can. Um, we're going to be moving around a lot against this guy. So I'm going to make probably... I'll leave us with 200 wood. And we'll build it across this way. We'll probably make it much longer. Um, then we feel like we need to. I got a good tip from one of my um, viewers um, to kind of make a bigger arena that we can fight bosses in. It's definitely going to make it a little bit easier, I think, in the long run. And so let's set this up now. We're also going to set this here. And so I'm going to set up the arena and then I will be right back all right guys so the arena is built i built it seems to be uh four levels not including obviously this bottom one so the ground would make it five levels um and i'm really thinking that this is going to be kind of perfect size and everything for at least the skeletron fight and then maybe if we're able to we'll be able to bring other bosses over here and use this to fight um which will mean kind of taking out more of this area, digging it out, making this into a arena. But I do really like the way this looks. Um, so I know we have to wait for nighttime. So we're just kind of hanging out here. But I wanted to tell you guys about how excited I am to have 
as of the time of recording this. So just a little insight. Every weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I record the episodes for the weekdays. And so I recorded all five episodes for this week uh, by the time Sunday rolled around. Um, and so Sunday, which is August 20, I believe it's August 28th, Sunday, August 28th, I achieved 37 subscribers, which is absolutely unreal to me. And you guys have no idea how much I appreciate the fact that you guys are watching my content and subscribing to see more. And um, yeah, it just blows my mind. And I just wanted to shout out the subscribers, uh, all 37 of you. Thank you so much uh, for joining the ride. Um, now I'm gonna wait for nighttime. We're waiting for it. I see the sun moving. Um, I'm gonna wait and then we're gonna talk to this guy here and see what he's got going on. All right guys, it is nighttime now and we are going to see if we can get this fight started. Come back at night if you wish to enter. Oh, so I guess the night doesn't count at the moment. Not yet. Oh, a water candle. Let's take that. We want the water candle. Okay, so it's not night yet, apparently. But it shall be soon. Come back at night if you wish to enter. So I don't know how far or how high up the moon needs to be in order to get him to respawn the uh, light of day well I don't think it's quite the light of day but that is fine I guess we will wait a couple more minutes um, I'm excited for this fight I'm hoping it goes well I don't know if it will go well so this is gonna be uh, this will be very interesting to say the least uh, but I have good faith um, it's pretty dark now here we go here comes Skeletron. So we're gonna go try to do as much as we can. It's bees knees. Oh, I forgot to put on my buffs. Okay, buffs, buffs are put on. The damage should be better now. We're gonna see what Skeletron's got. What can he do? Already pretty low on these hands. Let's see. One hand down. Second hand is down. So now he's just an angry head. Floating at me. Looking very angry. We should take this map off. Let's see if we can do that real quick. I did not get it. We need to get as many hits on him as we can at the moment. Oh, this is not as bad as I was expecting. There we go. Okay, let's get this map out of the way. We're almost down to about... Oh, we are just past half. These bone arrows are actually doing really good against him. He's got about a thousand health left. Getting rid of his arms early was a good idea. And when he comes at us slowly, we could just get him. Oh, amazing. We've destroyed Skeletron. Skeletron has been defeated. Now, we didn't get any sort of special items from him, but we're also going to be um, diving into the dungeon, so... That's going to be where a bulk of the, um, that'll be where the bulk of our uh, prize comes from. So let's go ahead and enter this dungeon. We shouldn't have to worry about those giant guardians coming at us anymore. And let's give it a dive. Some really cool banners around here. We, I know we could take these books, some potions on these shelves. We really don't need mana potions, and we technically don't really need these books either because it's not like we are going to be looking for a water bolt. So what we are really looking for is we want some bones. We want to beat a lot of skeletons, get some bones, and get some necro armor, uh, which is kind of the next step up from what we have now. 
uh, the fossil armor. It's just another set of really good ranged armor. And so that's going to be our goal while we're digging here. So you see we got bones there. We also need to kill a bunch of these slimes. Is this an alchemy table? Very nice. So these spikes do not feel good. So let's make sure we don't accidentally smack our head on that. We'll take facing the cerebral mastermind. So that skeleton, it looks like he's like baiting me. <laughs> he's like taking me deeper. He's like, hey, no, fight me down here. So I see that little, I see the little dart trap here. This is a chair. I thought it was a toilet. So I don't think we have a key yet. No key, but we do have a chest here. So let's try to remember that there's a locked golden chest over here that we can come and open as soon as we get a key. Tons and tons. It seems like we have so many. Oh, that's a bigger potion. Oh, and here is the mechanic. Remember I talked to you guys about how we need the mechanic. You are going to go move with a tinkerer. Oh. Or you're just going to fall to your death. That <laughs> works too. That was not where I wanted her to go. Uh, I should have made her a little safety area. Now I don't know where she went. But maybe she disappeared and went to one of the houses. It kind of looks like she might have. She might also be down here. Oh goodness. Okay, I'm gonna assume that she teleported to uh, her or one of the houses for the NPCs. That makes me feel a little better. Come on. These bone arrows are coming in handy again. Avoid these spikes is very difficult in here, by the way. I don't know. If, I imagine most of you guys watching this play Terraria as well. I don't know if anyone else has the same has the same problem. But those spikes are impossible for me to dodge, like on a consistent basis. I always seem to get hit by them, um, even when I'm like purposely trying not to. They always get me. Man, these skeletons are fast, by the way. I think these are definitely the fastest enemies I have faced. And it seems like we are struggling to keep our health up as well. So I am paying attention to that. Because we don't want to death. We already beat Skeletron. We don't want a death in this episode that has nothing to do with Skeletron. I should have made a note of how many bones I need from here so that we can head back and make that before we dive too deep. Bathtub. Very nice. And a vase. Very cool, very cool. We're taking all we can get at the moment. We haven't had a lot of luck in terms of finding the uh, slimes that have keys in them been a little bit of a bummer oh he tried to get the get the upper hand on me and he failed got him I feel like we're doing a pretty decent job we got into a rough patch there speaking of let's heal a bit oh we got a tally counter so that tells us how much of a certain enemy we've killed. That's pretty cool. These water bolts are getting tricky to dodge as well. That's kind of... Okay, I had a feeling that there was some sort of... So can you not grab on to... It feels like you can't just hook on to the wall for some reason. You kind of slide off of it. Which, if that's the case, that's actually a really cool effect. To 
gotta stop you from cheesing the level too much. We've got so many different enemies. It's hard to keep track of which ones are coming after us. I feel as though... Oh, I think there's some invisible blocks, or there's just some blocks that are hard to see there. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't hitting these guys. That makes a lot more sense. This is better. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why are my arrows not hitting any of them. I'm just kind of shooting down at them. So you would think that at least one of them would have gotten hit. Here we go. We also are going to need to take a buff potion again. We don't want to get stuck without any form of protection. So we do have a lock, or we have a key. Sorry, not a lock. We got plenty of those. The dark trap. We can open this up. And we're just going to take everything. I think there was a mace in there. I see a big slime up there, which is usually a good way to get the keys. There he is. Dungeon slimes. Oh, I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, we got another key. We got another key, and I feel as though we're doing a pretty good job with these enemies here he comes we're gonna let him get a little closer so that we can get this key without having to go too close to those spikes there another golden key now i do not know if there's a specific type of these keys that we want to get uh i'm gonna assume that since we've seen two different types of chests that there are two different types of key but that being said I don't really know and I definitely don't know what kind of stuff we're looking for in either of them so it's kind of okay we avoided those spikes pretty decently so here's one so okay that has a different type of key we're gonna have to find that key uh, but we got another gold chest here I saw a shield which I'm gonna guess does something great. <laughs> Let's hope. So I'll have to check and see what some of these other keys, what they do. I would like to get an opportunity to check what I got out of this chest, by the way. Excuse me, sirs. Um, dynamite. Oh, look at Ancient Necro Helmet. So that's one less of these items that we have to make, which is good for us. Um, let's get the suspicious looking eye. Um, we are not able to take that health potion at the moment, but we should take it now. So we got two tally mark, two tally counters. One of them has no improvement. Um, jagged cobalt shield. It grants immunity to knockback. Oh, that's pretty impressive. That's definitely going to be something we want to use. Um... So I know on the way back up that there was at least one other golden chest that we can look at. Oh, look at So that one has a different kind of... So there are different chests now. Now, of course, I'm not a um, Terraria expert by any means. Oh, Benjamin the Clo Clothier? I've never known how to say that, to be honest. Has arrived. Um... But the clothes guy, <laughs> uh, basically the the old man, the old man is here. Uh, we can get rid of this bottle. We're gonna take the Marumasa, even though I don't think we need it. It is a legendary, so that is pretty cool. Uh, let's leave that stuff in there. We're going to attempt to not die while we go through that door. Probably the most difficult door to get through. Um, we'll also be able to go to the mechanic. Um, move the mechanic in with the tinker. Oh, Valor. And a shadow key. Very cool. So those are two things we definitely needed. 
Um, let's get rid of this antlion mandible. I don't think we need that. Um, it's really difficult to come across lenses, clearly. But I think we are going to go without that for now. And we are going to take Valor. I'd like to take a lot of the weapons, even if we end up not using them. Having the ancient necro armor is awesome. Do we have any more golden keys? We have two. I think that this was kind of the first one that we found as we came down here. Because I think this was kind of the start. Oh, I just impaled my head on those spikes. I think we're getting to the entrance of the dungeon if we go this way. And if that's the case, then we don't really... I'm not going to dive too much farther down. Yeah, perfect. So I'm not going to dive further down. I'm actually going to go home and get all this gear put away that I got. Um, I think that was a really successful fight against Skeletron and then a deep dive into the dungeon. I'm glad we got the Cobalt Shield. I'm glad we got a Shadow Key. That's going to be important. Um, the Alchemy Table. This is really cool too. Um, we will you put that down for now. Um, and then let's get our cobwebs and see if we can make the necro armor yet so we need the cobwebs i've got lots of bones i think we don't need the helmet where are the bones oh here it is 133 bones so that's quite a bit let's see if we're lucky enough to be able to make it spinal tap that's kind of cool necro greaves okay so necro breastplate 60 bones and 50 50 cobweb and then 50 bones and 45 cobwebs so we were able to make it let's go ahead and put this away into i think this chest we'll put one of these away uh, we'll also quick stack i don't think we have a lot of new stuff so i wasn't sure um but we got necro armor now let's go ahead and put these on and where did the helmet go did i already put that on or was that the one I put away? I'm having the hardest time seeing my inventory at the moment. Okay, let's go back over here. And let's put this on. <laughs> so we've got full necro armor. Now we... We should have... We got the necro armor... In place. Much better defense we've got 19 now and also all of that increased range damage so now our bows are going to do even more damage which is just what we need now the set bonus is increased range critical strike which is going to be really cool now the fossil armor i think i'm going to um, create a mannequin and i will put that up there with the crimson armor um, because I do kind of want to dye it and see if we can kind of make it look like Bubasaurus. I want it to look like me. Um, and then I want it to act like me. And then I want it to ask you guys to subscribe if you like this content. And <laughs> just kidding. But our two main sets of armors that we use so far uh, without it being ragtag armors. Um, I plan to fill this up plenty with all kinds of... Um, armor and weapons and all that good stuff so I've been really excited um, now oh let's go to the snow and make sure that the mechanic has moved in with the tinkerer we want them to move in together um, we want them to have a budding romance I already gave them um, a cat together um, we want to make sure that um, they are living together and then we can get a snow pylon and we are very close to being able to get um, our whole pylon network set up but this this snow one is going to come in handy a lot it's going to be easier to get through this side of the map we've got the right side covered very well um, now the left side though not as good also i believe um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but while I was coming, while I was, um, while I was building the houses and I was going to the, um, while I was going to the ocean on the left side to make the neighborhood over there, um, I actually found where the meteor landed. The meteor landed like 
just behind the dungeon. Uh, behind the dungeon, um, around, I'm trying to think of which area it was. Uh, but it was next to, I think, in the crimson area, which kind of makes it a bit of a struggle. So, Cory, the mechanic, you're going to live here. The merchant, you can go, or the clothier. Um, I believe the clothier is going to go to the underground. Let me check my notes real quick. Yeah, the clothier is going underground. Um, so, we can kind of build him a little hut um, under there to get ready for him moving as well i don't want him to be without a home you know i'm not i'm not that cruel uh, so let's get him a chair and a door and all that good stuff um, where can i find a chair i should actually have brought the dungeon stuff i could have built him um, a little house out of the bricks that he used to stand in front of we've got so much stuff here that we could that we can use um, and then we need just normal wood. We got that. Perfect. I think that's everything we need for these guys. So the clothier is going to go over on this side somewhere, I think, for now. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually put them over here. Um, kind of across from these guys. He's going to go in this area. <laughs> Cory, the mechanic was slain. Oh no. Was she still in the dungeon? I definitely thought that she had gotten out of the dungeon. So that's uh, horrifying that she didn't make it. But I think it'll be okay. I don't know if I'm going to have to find another one. Um, but hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Um, she could have even been slain on her journey back to the snow. Uh, maybe the goblin tinkerer did it. Maybe they're not getting along as well as we thought they might. <laughs> so let's continue we're gonna build this little hut here for the clothier I'd like to build it uh, I don't know why I don't just let's just do this make sure that happens make sure this happens and this happens and we get some wood walls down here and he's gonna want a torch oh where are all my torches at I think I accidentally dropped them in the chest there's no way I'm out of torches I have so many of them so let's grab this one for now and we're going to put it right here uh, clothier so did the mechanic did get taken off of here it looks like Oh goodness, that means we're going to have to find another one. Or maybe she'll be put back on there when she um, when she resurrects. I don't know. So then, um, that will conclude our episode for today. Um, we beat Skeletron. We traversed the dungeon. Uh, we got Necro Armor. Um, we are doing a great job I think at this point um, we're definitely making progress towards um, our goal of next week beating the wall of flesh and starting hard mode so I'm very excited for that um, thank you again for watching the video um, please subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future plenty of terraria coming at you this week um, and next week and every weekday um, so like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time, and remember to always be on your Bubasaurus best.